in case you are a developer interested in writing APIs with the help of .NET Core, then this is a series for you. Hello everyone, my name is Vasily Linik. I am a senior .NET developer, and this is the start of a really exciting journey for me. In this course, we are going to build a minimal API using .NET Core, following the industry's best practices. The main goal of this series is to create a set of learning material that you could use to build real-world production-ready code and ship it to your client. And not the usual beginner stuff that you can find mostly on the internet. Before we go ahead, I'd say that some minimal knowledge of .NET Core and C Sharp would be a prerequisite. But I'll try to keep it very simple, so in case you are not familiar with the MVC approach or .NET Core, you could go somewhere, read some documentation, come back here and get a lot of value from this series. The project itself is inspired by a small application that I recently got to play around called Small Habits, and by the fact that our company runs a couple of internships a year, so we needed a single source for learning material to give to the new guys, to the trainees where they could learn from. Back to the topic again, the app is for building habits by tracking your everyday progress for one specific habit. What we are going to do is basically take this small application, take one of the hottest topics around .NET Core world, yeah, I'm talking about minimal APIs, and create a backend API for that small iOS application. Let's take a look at the application itself. We have over here a widget on my desktop. Uh, on the calendar page, we can see just the basic calendar where we can mark or unmark specific days we have worked on our habit. We can see the current streak of the habit itself. We have some settings where we can specify an image for an avatar for our user, a username the longest run streak for the habit and as well the active habit itself where we can just specify the name, uh, set a color from a predefined set and set up reminders for us basically on specific days at specific time please remind me with this small text like work on habit or it's really adjustable. Besides that we have the premium page where we can start a seven day trial, we can go to how to use an app, as well as the context of the developer, which I will link to the description of the video itself as well. So yeah, that's it for the application itself. So we are going to develop the backend for it. After finishing with the backend stuff, we are going to take a look at how we can consume this API be it a web application, be it a mobile app or a desktop application. I'm not a big fan of the front-end stuff, but I was planning on going ahead through some MAUI stuff later this year. So if you are interested, please let me know. Anyway, we will cover the functionality of the app itself based on what the users can see and what they can see while playing around with the application, as well as some interesting use cases like sending notifications, creating reports, working with blob storages, creating cron jobs, testing like unit integration testing, benchmarking your code. Yeah. We'll touch topics related to the DevOps part as well, mainly deploying the backend API to a uh, cloud provider, namely Azure, which I'm more familiar with since I've been working recently with it. Long story short, the goal of the series is to build a production-ready API, REST API, that you would normally build at your workplace and as well provide a set of learning materials to the guys who are new to the .NET world or who want to try it out. And let's get straight to it. So on your screen, you should see a list of API endpoints that we are going to develop. On the left side, you can see the identity part where we can register user, login, refresh and access token, get the user profile updated, deleted, and get some system information about the application itself. 
On the right side, we have some habit endpoints where we can create a habit, get it, update it, delete it, get the streak for the current habit, basically how many days of the month you have completed it, get the settings for that one specific habit, uh, update the setting, settings, mark it as done for today or for a specific day, and get the calendar data for the widget itself. So we have CRUD-based operations for our habit parts, and as well we have the identity part. As well, we are going to take a look at some social media providers like Facebook or Google and try to set up logging via those providers. Okay, so that does it for the introduction. In the next video, we are going to take a look at the differences between the MVC API controller-based API and minimal APIs. There are differences, the advantages, the disadvantages of one over the other, and why I chose specifically for this project the minimal API. If you enjoy this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe to the video. This would help me really a lot.